there's been a lot of talk in the build up about Ryan's mental health. What have you made of it? Are you surprised that the fight's still going ahead this close to uh, Saturday? Know, mental health is a real, a real, a real situation. Um, you know, uh, I, what I have to do is I have to prepare for uh, a Garcia. That's uh, a very skilled Ryan Garcia, 15-time amateur champion. A fighter with uh, the power that we call the good night. I mean, um, so the fighter that I'm preparing for is, uh, you know, is different. You said they're scared Ryan Garcia. Speaking to Oscar De La Hoya earlier, he's adamant that what happened, the altercation up on the top of the Empire State Building, for them they see it as Ryan getting underneath Devin's skin. Just your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, of course, if you slap the shit out of anybody, it's going to scare the shit out of them, and they're going to become dangerous. So, I mean, if that, if you mean by that, Ryan now is even more dangerous fighter, he's a scared fighter, and um, whatever, the, whatever, on that between it, whichever fighter comes, whether he's he or if he's she, I'm definitely going to deal with it, dismantle him, and make an end to Ryan Garcia. Just one more from me, Ben. Obviously, I know Ben Davidson and Lee Wiley are still very much involved with Devin, even if they're not here. What type of involvement have I had for this panel? Always shout out to Ben Davidson and, and uh, Lee. I mean, we always are, are very much inspirational um, you know, and, and strategic with us. So we share information, now, and that's between us. But, you know, thank you to them always. Bill, Bill. Does it show how much pressure like Devin is that you know he's not really too worried about whatever's going on with Ryan Garcia or about his mental state? He's fully focused on on, on Saturday night. I mean, this whole circus here is where Devin you know, he grew up him. in this. Um, this is what him. makes Devin. You know, he is Devin the dream. Um, you know, he's built for this kind of shit. So, um, what you see other fighters they fall apart, they create other narratives. Um, you know what I mean? But this is home for him, and, and, and it's all about the build up. It's all about the build up for the event on April 20th. And that's what you see a focus and healthy W. With them being so familiar to each other with the amateurs, I know amateurs and pros are different than from when they were younger, it's much different, but is there sort of some positives that I suppose you can take? Maybe Devin may have some similarities with what you've seen with Garcia before in the amateurs? I don't know, which whatever he can bring to the table. For all the disrespect that, that Ryan Garcia and his team have shown, um, you know, it's um it's it, it's gonna be bad for him. I, I've told everyone, I said, listen. Put your kids to bed or advise them properly because you're going to witness something that doesn't normally happen in boxing. You're going to see that a man is being sent to hurt another man. That's what Ryan Garcia is going to happen. Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia, Ryan Lopez and the other guys that What do you rank by him? I mean, I rank him like I rank all the rest of them. That's they will fighting and that's what's going to be I mean, we got to go through it to get to it. And it don't matter who it is. I mean, we look at them all the same. You know what I mean? At the end of the night, that means we have to get and, 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 you know, play for a break. You know, some will come forward, some will back up, you know what I mean, but they're all going down. So does it impact your preparation at all when you're getting ready for something that seems to be so erratic behavior before a fight? Is that like, that doesn't concern you at all? I mean, of course. I mean, it, it, it changes the whole plan. I mean, at first, you know, I wanted to have to go big, now I wanted to go tell him. Is that, you know, is that cool too?